The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number one. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 8, 1973, in London, England. Dhritarashtra said, O Sanjaya, after assembling in the place of pilgrimage at Kurukshetra, what did my sons and the sons of Pandu do, being desirous to fight? So, the history is that same family, uh, there was dispute, dispute who would occupy the throne. Uh, Dhritarashtra, and uh, actually he was the eldest son of the king, and next was Pandu. So every, every country, uh, the law of private nature, what is called, the eldest uh, child, uh, in, in your country, uh, if the eldest child is a girl, she also occupies the throne, just like present Queen Elizabeth, uh, formerly there was Queen Victoria, before that another Elizabeth. But uh, in India, uh, uh, Oman has no such right. Uh, the Oman is never given any responsible post. Uh, uh, that is the opinion uh, of uh, the greatest politician in the history of the world, Chanakya Pandit. According to his opinion, Vishyasanaiva Kattabham Sri Suraj He has given his explicit opinion that you, you cannot trust with any responsible force uh, or any responsibility with uh, women and politicians. Those who are diplomat politicians, you cannot trust them. Uh, so the general regula- regulation is that women should remain under the protection of husband, uh, father, husband, and children. Just like this, Pandus, uh, their mother, Kunti, she was very, very qualified lady. Uh, but still, uh, after the death of her husband, she always remained uh, with the sons. The sons are going to the forest, the mother is also going. Also the wife is also going, uh, Draupadi. This was it. <coughs> so two parties, Dhritarashtra was the eldest son, but he was blind, bodily defective. Therefore uh, he was not awarded the throne. His next brother, Pandu, he was offered the throne. But he died uh, very early age, a young man. When these Pandus, the five sons, Dhridhishthir, Maharaj, at that time not Maharaj, Dhridhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nokul, Sahaja, they were very small children. So they were taken care of by Dhritarashtra. Another elderly family, Bhishma Dev, he was the grandfather of the Pandos. He was the elder uncle of Dhritarashtra. Bhishma was elder brother of Dhritarashtra's father. He was so old. And he was actually, uh, the kingdom belonged to Bhishma, but he remained a brahmachari. He did not marry. There was no issue of Bhishma Therefore his nephews 
Dhritarashtra and Pandu, they were uh, inherited. Now, after the death of Pandu, there was conspiracy. Dhritarashtra wanted that actually this is my kingdom. Now, somehow or other I could not get it. Now my brother is dead. So if I do not inherit, why not my sons? This was the politics. Politics are always there. And envious, jealousy, this is the nature of this material world. You cannot avoid it. The spiritual world means just the opposite. There is no politics, there is no jealousy, there is no enviousness, there is spiritual world. And material world means politics, jealousy, diplomacy, enviousness, uh, so many things. This is material. So, even in the heavenly planets, these things are there, politics. Even in animal kingdom, these politics are there. This is the nature. Masarata. Masarata means envious. Uh, one man is envious of another man. It doesn't matter. Even their brothers, or family members. Here, the family members. Dhritarashtra uh, and Pandu, two brothers, they are sons, they are family members, but the enviousness. Uh, so the Krishna consciousness movement is not for the persons who are envious. Uh, envious. It is a movement to train people how to become not envious. It is very first class scientific moment. Yes. Not to become envious. Oh. Therefore, Srimad Bhagavatam in the beginning introduces Dharma Prodhita Koitava Atra. In this Srimad Bhagavatam, Dharma, religious principle, uh, cheating type of religious principle is completely eradicated. Thrown out. Projit. Uh, uh, kicked out. Projit. It's like you collect all the uh, dirty things from the room, sweeping, and then kick out. Uh, don't keep it within the room. Uh, similarly, cheating type of religious system kicked out. It is not such religion, this religion, that religion, any religion system. Yeah. If there is jealousy, uh, that is not religion. Uh, jealousy means we should understand jealousy. What is jealousy? Uh, jealousy means that you are rightful owner of something. I won't allow you to take it. This is jealousy. Uh, this is jealousy. Jealousy, try to understand. Uh, suppose you are rightful owner of something, and I am trying that you don't own it. I shall own it. Uh, or somebody own it. I shall not allow it. This is jealousy. So, the, what is the rightful uh, ownership of the living entity? That is to be understood. Birthright, what is called birthright, uh, just like everyone has got right to live uh, under the protection of the government. Everyone, that is good God. Government should give security of life and property. That is God. Not only for the human being, but for in for the ant. This is God. Not that I give protection to my brother and not to others. That is not. Just like Purikit Maharaj. 
Oh. He was giving protection to the animals all. Uh, when was when he was on his tour, as soon as he saw that a black man was trying to kill one cow, oh, immediately he took his sword. Who are you? You are trying to kill? Uh, so this is good government. Unless the government is equal to everyone, just like God is equal to everyone. The king or the government must be representative of God. Therefore, according to uh, Vedic civilization, king is offered uh, as good respect as to the Supreme Personality of God. King is called Naradeva. Uh, Naradeva. That means God in human form. King is given. Why? Because he acts as the representative of God. He cannot be jealous to any living entity, at least born in his kingdom. That is called praja. Praja means one who has taken birth, or in other words, national. National. So that is the duty. So, formerly, uh, when there was fight between two kings, it is on the uh, principle that who is giving good protection to the citizens, not for personal profit. Who is able to give good protection, life, uh, security for life and property, he should be gone. So, these persons, these Dhritarashtra and his sons, they are jealous how they could give protection to the citizens. They are themselves jealous. Just like nowadays, all these politicians, they are jealous. They cannot give any protection to the citizens. They are simply interested with their party politics. They have no time even to think how to give uh, nice protection to the citizen so that they may feel happy always that we have got a good government, there is no cause of anxiety. We have got sufficient food, sufficient protection, uh, uh, sufficient uh, uplands, everything is sufficient. And that is good law. So here uh, Dhritarashtra, uh, he is jealous. Uh, he cannot give any good government. Krishna knew it. Krishna sent a messenger, O Krura. We have read in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Before this battle of Purushetra from uh, Dwarka, he sent his uncle, O Krura, just go to Hastinapur, New Delhi, and see what is the situation. Uh, so Krura understood that Dhritarashtra was planning something. So he talked with him that why you are uh, implicated in such planning. Uh, Krishna does not want it. Although Dhritarashtra knew that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of God, uh, so Dhritarashtra said that I know that what I am planning, that is not good. I know Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, and He has requested me. But I tell you frankly, I cannot do without Him. So, and Krishna will be pleased upon me, I may be. So this is the position of the materialistic person. A materialistic person knows that he is sinful. The materialistic person knows that whatever he is doing is wrong, but he cannot check. Just like uh, a thief. A thief knows that if he commits uh, stealing, he will be arrested, he will be punished. He knows. 
because he heard from law books, from other sources, and he has also seen that a thief is arrested and is taken by the police for being punished. So we have got two kinds of experiences, by hearing and by seeing, direct. In, a, in Bengal it is called dakha suna. In India it is called the two kinds of experience. One by seeing, practically experiencing, hand to hand. Another by hearing. So one who is intelligent, he gets his experience simply by hearing from the right soul. That is nice. So our process is that we are getting experience about uh, the perfect knowledge, the destination of life, simply by hearing from Krishna. Uh, so we are the most intelligent person. It is not possible to experience directly, uh, but if one has got intelligence, then simply by hearing and considering and thinking about it, he gets fixed. So those who are very sinful, they get experience by hearing and by direct seeing, directly seeing also, still they cannot check from sinful activities. So dhitarāstra, dhitarāstra, by sinful activities he became so much fallen that he did not hear anybody's advice, Vidur's advice, Bhishma's advice, uh, that don't plan like this. They are rightful owners. The Pandavas, they are rightful owners. Uh, they are minor, but don't try to cheat them. But Dhritarashtra was. So when the planning was complete and the war field was set up, uh, at Dharmakshetri Kurukshetri. Dharmakshetri means Kurukshetra, that place is a pilgrimage. People still go to observe a religious ritualistic performances. And in the Vedas, there is Indian sun. Kurukshetri Dharmamachari. If you want to perform some ritualistic ceremonies, religious, then go to Kurukshetra. So Kurukshetra is a dharma khetra. It is not a fictitious thing, just like rascal commentators, so-called. They say Kurukshetra means this body. It is not that. As it is. Try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. Kurukshetra, dharma khetra. It is a place of religion. And especially when Krishna was present there, it is already. Uh, why this house? Before our occupation, why this house was an ordinary house? Now it is temple. It is Dharma Khetra. It is a religious place. Why? Because Krishna is there. Krishna is there. So either you take Kuru Kshetra, ordinary place, but because in the battlefield Krishna was there directing Arjuna, so it is already dharma kshetra. So formerly people were religiously trained up, so they could not speak lies in a dharma kshetra. That is still the practice, just like in the Western world, the Christian go to the church, they admit confession. Yes, I have done. Uh, that, but that has become a formality. But actually, uh, one should admit uh, in uh, religious place that, yes, I have done it. But that does not mean you admit and again do it. No. You admit once, then you are excused. But don't do it again. Uh. So here, uh, Dhritarashtra says, the samavita jujutsabha, all these people, my sons, mamaka, 
Bhavaka, that means my sons. And Pandava, and my brother Pandava, Samavita, they assemble. What is the purpose? The purpose is Jujutsava. Oh, this word Jujutsu is still used in Japan. Perhaps you know Jujutsu. Oh, fight. So Jujutsu, those who are desirous of fighting. Now, both the parties were desiring to fight and they assembled. Why he is asking question, Kima Purvata? What did they do? Because he was uh, a little doubtful that these boys, after being assembled in Dharma Kshetra Kurita, they might have changed their ideas. They might have settled up. No, actually, the sons of Dhritarashtra might have admitted, yes, Pandavas, you are actually the owner. What is the use of unnecessary fighting? So he was very much anxious whether they have changed their decision. Therefore he is asking. Otherwise there is no question of asking. Kima kurva. He, just like if you are given food, if I ask somebody that such and such gentleman uh, was served with nice dishes, then what did he do? Uh, this is foolish question. He, he would eat. That's all. What is the question now? What did he do? Similarly, when it is already settled up that they were to fight, there is no such question as Kima Purvata, what they do, did they do. But he asked this question because he was doubtful whether they had changed their opinion. Kima Purvata Sangha, he was asking his uh, secretary, he was blind man, uh, he was always conducted by secretary Sanjaya, a very faithful secretary, and he is explaining the Bhagavad Gita and by experiencing, uh, by television within the heart. Uh, that art is not yet uh, developed. We have got television through machine, but there is another television. Uh, you can see within your heart everything, what is going on outside. So that television was known to, that will be explained by Sanjaya, uh, that by the grace of uh, uh, Vyasdev, he learned this television. And he was sitting with his master within the room, and he was actually seeing how the fighting is going on, and he was explaining. This is the basic principle of Bhagavad Gita, and I mean, basic platform. Uh, so let us discuss gradually one of Thank you very much. Thank you.